Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how I painted the barricades for Kill Team Octarius. In the core book, there are a few images of the barricades, and so I wanted to use those as a reference for the way I painted them. And here you can see they're kind of a grey colour, but with a little bit of a dusty, almost dirty look. And this is the effect I got with just a base coat and two paints. So uh, this video, I'll show you exactly how I did it. So first of all, I primed the models using the Citadel Color Wraithbone Contrast Undercoat. And really important to follow those instructions, really shake it, get the temperature right, and spray it from a distance, giving it nice, even coats. And so I did that on both sides and let it dry thoroughly. Here are the paints we're going to use. It's a Null Oil and a Gillum and Flesh Contrast Paint. And I'll put links in the description so you can grab them really easily and get a discount too. Okay, let's get started. And the first paint we're going to use is the Null Oil. And I've just got the little brush to show you the size. This is a layer brush small by Citadel. And I've just got this old brush that I got with an old painter kit years ago. I'm just going to use that to get a nice even coat. It's not an expensive brush by any means, but the bristles are really soft and it's great for doing something like this. And with the Null Oil, you've got plenty of time to work with it. So when you want to do a pretty large surface like this and give it a nice even coat. Having bigger bristles makes it a lot neater. You get a better finish and it also gives you a lot more time because you've got more paint on your brush. You're not going in and out of the pot and it's also not drying up on the brush too. So I'm just going over doing these raised areas first and then working into the more smoother areas, trying to use the textures and contours of the piece to kind of almost wipe the paint off the brush. So I'm starting and ending my brush strokes almost where I want most of that paint to build up. And that's a technique I use a lot with the contrast paint too. So I'm going all over one side and I did all the pieces together except for that one test one that I did first of all just to try out this recipe. And so when I did all five, I did this side with these two raised pieces and I let that completely dry before doing the other side. And that just helped it um, much easier because if I did the other side first and let that dry when I turned it a lot of it would be in contact with the board and I didn't want that to happen so here we go you can see I've got all the different pieces now coated and it's completely dried and these look really great I think we've got a nice grey colour it matches very closely to the image but now we want to make it this dirty dusty look I don't want it to look rusty and I don't want it to look metallic either so I want it to contrast with the orc terrain so that's why I chose to use Gilliman Flesh and now I'm going to go on to the Kalinsky number no. 2 brush. And this is a little bit smaller, but really nice pointy bristles. And this is going to really help us do some line work here. But first of all, I'm going to go over all the rivets and put a nice amount of paint in there and then dot it on. Again, we don't want it to look rusty. This is more like dust and dirt and mud. And we don't want it to look rusty and, and clash with that orc terrain because this is almost kind of being brought along by the Krieg um, troopers so that's the way we want to kind of go with it so really playing into that narrative so i'm going over all these little dimples and then i'll go in and just do lines down every little recess so i'm just following the pattern on the piece and then just put in a little thin line and i'm not even trying to be really careful here i think the more messy almost the more natural it's going to look so i'm just kind of being quite random i'm not taking my time you can see i'm just dotting it in pushing it into that little gap. Some lines are thicker than others and that really helps as well. A few dots and then spread it out a bit and go down again. So really free, just do loose strokes and just go, almost go crazy with it. Just get it in there, but follow the contours and the shapes of the model. And that's really gonna help. And I also try and imagine where the dirt and grunge is gonna build up. That's where I try and end my brush stroke or start it there to get more of that paint in. This Gillum and Flesh is the perfect colour for this because it's, it's a bit of an orangey brown and works really well. So on the back, we're just going over into all these cogs as well. That's where a lot of the grime's gonna build up. You imagine with explosions hitting it, dust flying into the air, blood guts, all sorts of stuff are gonna settle in those recesses and in those cogs. And so I'm just imagining that as I'm painting it. And that's really all there is to it. This is such a simple process. I was really happy that it worked just using these two paints on top of that primer. I'm really happy with the result I got from it and it saved a lot of time. It's quite fiddly doing this six times, quite repetitive, but I think it's worth that little bit of effort for a tabletop ready piece that I think looks really nice. So I was really happy that the two paints worked. And here we go, here's the finished piece, completely dried. I think it's got a really nice cartoony look. That Gilliman flesh really has brought out that 
earthy, dusty look, and it kind of matches the board that comes with the Octarius set too. So you can see on both sides there, all six are painted. And here we've got an orc hiding behind one, just to show you what it looks like from really flat on the table. And then one of the Deathcore Krieg there, he's also hiding behind it. So yeah, really happy with how this worked. And um, hopefully this is gonna help you to get some pieces tabletop ready really fast. I'll put a list of all the paints I use in the description below, and I'll also link those to Element Games and Wayland Games, where you can save up to 20% off the RRP of all these paints. And you can also pick up the main game there with some great discounts. At the moment, Kill Team Octarius at Wayland Games is going for 111.90, so you're saving 10%, but Element Games are doing it for 99.99, so you're saving a huge 20% there. So I'll put links to all this, in the description. There'll be affiliate links, but they won't cost you anything extra. You'll save all that money, and you'll also support the channel as I get a small commission too. So thanks so much for that. If you'd like to check out my other videos, I've done some on how to build the Kree kill team, an Orc commando kill team using the models from the Octarius box set. I've also done a review and unboxing of two of the dice packs and an unboxing of the main game. And there's loads more content. I'll be painting all the different parts of it, the different models, the terrain, and going through a complete rule series as well. So look out for all that already on the channel and coming really soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this gave you an idea of how you can quickly and easily get these painted up tabletop ready. I'm in quite a hurry to get this game painted and ready for battle. I can't wait to make videos, play in some games and go through all the rules. It's a really awesome set with some great pieces. But let me know what you think in the comment sections below. I'd love to hear from you. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.